I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas from all of us here at IndyCar Ministry. Both Jason, myself, our families, our board of directors, and our volunteers. You know, everybody has a different perspective when it comes to Christmas. I started looking through the Gospels and all of the Gospel writers have a, a different idea of what happened at Christmas. And I think this says so much about us as people. As we come into the Christmas season, we all take it a little different ways. I dug a little deeper and looked into the stories and the characters of Christmas. And where all these people are is a different place. So that first Christmas, I'm sure they perceived it differently, just like you and I do today. Some examples I came up with are, are the shepherds. They were so excited about Christmas and they were ready to celebrate and they, they traveled a ways just to experience the nativity scene and, and just enjoy the moment. And then there was Joseph and Mary, right? They were uh, probably kind of scared. They didn't really know what was going on. I, I thought of the fact that God gave them this awesome gift, his son, to, to raise and foster, but yet I'm sure they felt insufficient and not ready for the task. Uh, then there was King Herod. He heard the rumor that this savior was gonna be born, another king, and he got jealous and, and uh, disturbed, the Bible tells us, that's the word it used. And, and then there was the Magi. And that made me think of those of us who, for one reason or another, maybe we have to work on Christmas and we can't celebrate Christmas that day and we have to defer that celebration and spend time with our loved ones later. Then there's those of us who are spending Christmas alone and by ourselves. And that's kind of where I want to go today is that no matter what our situation is, God is there with us. In the book of John, uh, chapter 1 verse 14 it says so the word became human and made his home among us so no matter what situation we're in God is there with us he loved us enough to come into our lives come into our situation into our mess and spend time with here that we might with us here that we might get to know him better know who he is and know that he is a God of love in Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 it says the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which, which means God is with us. And it's so awesome that here, beginning with the birth of Jesus, we're seeing a, a maybe a shift in the Bible that in the Old Testament, there was all these religious rituals and different things we had to do when sin came into our lives. But in the New Testament, starting with Jesus' birth, we're seeing a shift from that religion to relationship where God just wants to be in our lives, be in the struggle with us and has taken care of our sin by his grace, by sending his son, Jesus, to live among us and die on that cross and conquer death that we might have an eternity with him. So I wanted to leave us with that nugget today that no matter where you are, no matter how you view Christmas, if you love it, can't stand it, or whatever Christmas have, has morphed into in our current life, that God is in it with us. Emmanuel, God with us. He goes with us no matter where we are, and that's because he loves us so much. And I wanna invite you today, that if you've never experienced the love of God, go on a journey with us here. Uh, in a couple weeks, we're gonna be starting a new series of messages uh, based on one of two topics, we're running a, a survey right now on Facebook. If you look in our feed, go back and you can vote for where you want us to go next. But maybe tune into those messages, see how you can apply the Bible to your life and just uh, get closer to God no matter where you are. We invite you to go with us. So have a great holiday and we will see you next time on Wednesday Wisdom.